Hey everyone, welcome back to the Heretic Circle channel. It is I, Jack, and... Oh my god! Have you heard of a film called When Evil Lurks? Oh god. When Evil Lurks. A movie, a horror movie from Argentina. Uh, directed and written by Damien, or Damien Rugna. I hope I'm saying that right. And it's basically a story where... In the farmlands of Argentina, they discover a possessed body. And there are rules in this world where basically you cannot kill the possessed with a firearm specifically unless you want it to spread out. And unfortunately, it, it spreads out. It gets it gets loose, and what you see in this film is, uh, what ninety minutes of sheer anxiety. Now, I've heard other um, critics, online movie reviewers talk about this film, and some would praise it really highly. And I thought, okay, let's see. I had a friend actually tell me who went to go see it in the theaters, and he told me. You have to see this in a theater. Unfortunately, I couldn't. So I saw it on Shutter. Oh my god. I think it's good that I didn't get to see it in the theater because my god, the anxiety I would have had in that theater, in that enclosed space. I mean, the the movie relies pretty much zero on CGI. This is a very practical film. But the kills you see in this in this film are downright grotesque, shocking, and sometimes very unexpected. There's a scene that I did not I kind of felt something was gonna happen and I didn't expect it. And when it did, I was like I jumped. I was like, oh god. <laughs> it, it was I was in. I was in. And one quick thing. So, this movie is from Argentina. The original title is Cuando Esecha la Malda. Um, I've, I've seen other Spanish films. There's a fantastic series. Well, except for the fourth one. Uh, Wreck or Record. Um, the fourth one's not that good. But one, two, and three. Fantastic. I, I was like, cool, I can catch on. I, I mean, I, I am Latino, so I should be able to catch on to Argentina. Well... The Argentinian dialect is just a little a little bit harder to follow, so I had to watch it with subtitles. But regardless, regardless, oh, did I get into this film, and my God, the things you see in this goddamn film, amazing. There is, I hope they, in, in a weird way, I, I'm conflicted on this. I, I'm conflicted if they should continue this story or not, because there is a mention of a character and a mention of a story where they have had a past destroying these type of entities. And that leads me to think, oh, that, that's, oh that, that could be something worth exploring, but at the same time, it could ruin such a good thing. Um, I honestly, like, in, in terms of, of, the, of my top three horror films, The Exorcist is always going to be number one. You really can't top that Exorcist film. Uh, theatrical or even, you know, the version you never saw. Whichever version. Still, tops. For me personally, Heredity is, Heredity is second. I had trouble watching that film and I was like, my God, because it got me. It got into me. It's like anxiety. This is number three. And it's just because it, you just... You want you're like typically you want the the people to overcome and you want them to to find the way and you just feel this dread throughout the whole film because it's just it's a sprawling I guess for lack of a better term evil that's happening in, in not only um, the farmlands of Argentina but is also in the city and uh, like I said the the kills <laughs> my God the kills. And there's a part, I'll just say this, 
Um, there's a part where it's at night. A woman's walking down a dirt road, eating. You know, it's popcorn, but still, the image is like she's eating. Oh man, that's just like oh, that's fucked up. So. I don't want to spoil this film, but pretty much that's the gist. Small town in Argentina, evil spreads, and you, it's its kind of like t- uh, 28 days later where you're just pretty much, or 28 weeks later even, it has that kind of feel to it where you're just, you're seeing everything kind of fall apart. You're seeing society fall apart, and your protagonists are just trying to survive and get out. It's very similar in that sense, but... The story is very effective and what there are things that disturb you or make you feel anxiety that it's so well it's so well pulled off it it, it just it leaves it, it leaves a moment with you. It leaves it leave it leaves a lasting impression with you, you know? I'll be honest I mean after I saw the film I had to <laughs> it was all late at night, I was like, okay, I need something I need a palate cleanser. What? What can I watch? And then they told me about this movie called Medellin on Prime. So I started watching that. Basically, the French version of Hangover. All right, it works. I'm good. I can sleep now. But I can't unremember those scenes. That's how effective this movie is. Um, one of the best, I think, horror films of this year. Um, of course, I, I, yeah, without a doubt, it's better than Exorcist Believer. Um, I haven't seen the new Saw movie, but I can pretty much assure you when people see either Saw or see this, you're going to be talking more about when evil lurks than the new Saw film. So, have you seen this film? What did you think? And apparently, uh, Shudder has uh, Damien's other film, um... It's called, well, it's in English, it's called Terrified, uh, from 2017, and I found an image, not knowing it's from this film, and I'm just like, ooh, I'm excited to see this now. So, Damien, Damien, oh, I can't wait. Por favor, haga más. Haga más películas, por favor. Necesitamos más de, de, de tus creaciones. So, again... Leave a comment below. What are your thoughts? What was your favorite scene? And if, or if anything, what are your top three horror films that you just, every time you watch them, it gives you anxiety. You're just like, Ugh. leave a comment below. Like, share, subscribe, all those good things. And I'll see you next time. Cheers.